Don't miss the Green and Growing show in the noon to 9 p.m. hours on Eagle TV. Ellis County Horticulture agent Holly Dickman will identify common lawn and garden issues while providing up-to-date information. Watch weekdays in the noon to 9 p.m. hours on Channel 14 or 614. Green and Growing, brought to you by Riedel's Garden Center, a full-service garden center west of Hayes on Highway 40 and Eagle TV. With our current weather conditions, it takes a real expert to create landscape that'll thrive. Riedel's Garden Center has the staff with the expertise of water requirements for plants, lawns, and landscapes that'll stand up to our changing weather conditions. With 25 years of hands-on experience, owner Darren Riedel will customize a landscape design and irrigation system to meet your expectations and our climate. It's recommended to protect your lawn using Fertilone products available at Riedel's Garden Center, an authorized dealer. Call or stop by Riedel's Garden Center today. If you have squash, pumpkins, zucchini, things like that in the garden, be on the lookout for a very common pest of these plants, and that's the squash bug. Um, this is the time of year when we're seeing that first generation of squash bugs. By now they've hatched. Um, they are very small, gray, soft-bodied when they're little. As they get larger, they're the larger, hard-bodied, shield-shaped gray insects that you see just overtaking pumpkin patches and, and zucchini plants at the end of the season. What you want to do when you have these plants is go out and scout for them. So when you have pumpkins in the landscape or in the garden, excuse me, or um, squash, go out and just kind of inspect the leaves. With squash bugs, they lay their eggs on the undersides of the leaves. So you want to go out and just really kind of look things over. If you find a cluster of red little tiny eggs. Um, you can remove those, you can squish them, and that's a nice way to organically control them. But if you haven't quite gotten that accomplished, sometimes that's very impractical or very hard to do, and you have started to see some little nymphs or immature squash bugs crawling around, the best way to control is actually with the use of a, an insecticide. And so there are many labeled out there on the market, but permethrin is one that has seemed to work better and is labeled for garden plants. Um, one thing you do want to do when you use an insecticide on those insects is you want to make sure you get the undersides of the leaves and make sure you spray down around the base of the plant as well because during the daytime that's where those squash bugs tend to hide. Now it's important to try and get on top of this pest if you do start to see them because like I mentioned there's two generations of summer and so this is the first generation that we're seeing now. But this is the generation that if left uncontrolled will give rise to that second generation which is usually devastating. They can do tons of damage, they can cause plants to die, um, lots of damage to your produce, and so you want to make sure and try to get those things under control the best you can as early as you can. Now if you like organic gardening or you don't want to use pesticides in your garden, there are options there, like I mentioned, removing those eggs by hand. Um, I've also heard of, you know, putting a flat piece of wood or an old shingle or something down at the base of the plant. Those insects will hide under there during the heat of day, so you can lift that up and either you know, squish them or use a vacuum and suck them up. I've heard all sorts of different ways to get squash bugs out of the garden, but one thing we know for sure is they are a very difficult pest to deal with in the garden, and so the earlier you can get those things under control, the better. If you have questions about squash bugs or other pests in the garden, contact your local Extension office for more information. We can help you out. Reporting for K-State Research and Extension, Eagle TV, I'm Holly Dickman, Ellis County Horticulture Extension Agent. Don't miss the Green and Growing show in the noon to 9 p.m. hours on Eagle TV. Ellis County Horticulture Agent Holly Dickman will identify common lawn and garden issues while providing up-to-date information. Watch weekdays in the noon to 9 p.m. hours on Channel 14 or 614. Green and Growing, brought to you by Riedel's Garden Center, a full-service garden center west of Hayes on Highway 40 and Eagle TV. With our current weather conditions, it takes a real expert to create landscape that'll thrive. Riedel's Garden Center has the staff with the expertise of water requirements for plants, lawns, and landscapes that'll stand up to our changing weather conditions. With 25 years of hands-on experience, owner Darren Riedel will customize a landscape design and irrigation system to meet your expectations and our climate. It's recommended to protect your lawn using Fertilone products available at Riedel's Garden Center, an authorized dealer. Call or stop by Riedel's Garden Center today.